thanks to the supporters of channel member Matt Roberts. Well, here we go then, boys and girls. Three games remaining in the season, the last of which is against the team directly below us, Doncaster. We're five points clear of them, so fingers crossed we should be getting promoted today. But our form has been very up and down. Hello and welcome to Club 2, part 6 of Non-League to Legend. I'm Kevin. Coming up on today's episode, this time we really are playing as many games as we need to to end the season. When I said it yesterday, I didn't think we'd lose one and it might have ended up being a five-game episode. So starting things off with Chesterfield, who are down in 16th place. We're five points clear. If we win them and Doncaster lose, win them, beat them and Doncaster lose, we'll get promoted now and everything's going to be happy, happy. What I want to avoid is having to go to Doncaster on the last day of the season needing a result. That would be a long way from ideal. So this is the team for the Chesterfield game. We've got Whiteman in goal, a back four of Hamer, Burke, Tomkinson and Long. Oshilaya at the base of the midfield, Powell and Harper ahead of him, and then Azaz in behind, Lowe and Stewart up front. Ross Stewart is fit enough to play a full 90, theoretically, but with his injury record this season, um, take that very much with a pinch of salt, but we are going to need him. We just, we need a result. That's all it is. Look at that. I'm so that guy is tiny, tiny little man compared to a full size manager such as myself. And hopefully, we'll crush them, crush them, and secure ourselves promotion today. Who are Doncaster playing? Doncaster are at home against Barrow. I think Barrow are down in a relegation battle. So, presumably, it's going to be a relatively straightforward afternoon for Doncaster. We were very nearly gifted an early goal there. The Chesterfield goalkeeper, I have no idea what he's up to, but he very nearly threw it into his own net. Long on the right-hand side. I mean, why has Stewart played that back? Stewart should... I mean, normally he would score that. I don't understand what I've just seen. Long now with the effort from the edge of the area, and it's it looked like it pinged off a defender and has gone behind for a corner, and it's going to be Powell to take the in-swinging corner. Looking for that far post where low, all six foot five of him was lurking, but it ends up coming all the way out to Oshilaya. And uh, he uh, is just basically waiting for everybody to get back into position before he risks giving the ball away, which I guess is fair enough. Or I would have liked to just get it back in the area and apply some pressure. We want to get promoted here. Goodness me. Uh, Doncaster still nil-nil against Barrow. That's really the only other game that matters. Actually, Carlisle probably matters as well. So Carlisle, who are also on 76 points, they're winning against Northampton. So actually their game probably doesn't matter because... They're not going to catch us. Um, it's Doncaster who we need to worry about. So if Doncaster remain not winning against Barrow, that's very good for us. And of course, we would like to uh, take the lead in this one sooner rather than later. Please, Azaz plays it out onto the left-hand side for Hamer. And uh, he gives the ball away and it ends up with Long and now Harper. All the way back to Tomkinson, who we are still getting MLS interest from. Tomkinson is looking likely to be moving on in quite a big money deal in the summer, which I'd ideally keep him, but I'm not like married to any of these players. Everyone is available for sale for the right price. I feel like there's a lot needs doing to this squad to get these boys playing the way a Kev team typically plays. So if there's big money to be made from any of them, everybody is for sale. And I'm not against letting him go and bringing Lewis Brown in from Tamworth if we, if we can convince them to part with him. Hamer with the big, deep cross. Lowe gets under it. And as all too often seems to be the case with Lowe, can't keep his head down. Um, he's, he's very good, very young, very raw. Not quite the finished article, and it is a little bit frustrating when we're relying on so much from him that he uh, he does have a habit of missing big chances like we've just seen there. Um, still five points clear, though, of Doncaster as we head towards halftime. Nil-nil in both games as we're both getting pretty nervy as we, uh, as we head towards... The point in the season when the decisions are made. I mean, we're looking at what's going on behind us. I don't know what Tamworth are up to. Who are Tamworth playing? Uh, Tamworth not playing anybody, actually. They've still got a game in hand. So Tamworth feeling pretty comfortable at the moment. Their promotion is all but secure as things stand. Um, so I'm definitely going to take credit for that one. And I was just about to do my, uh, oh, look at me, I'm great, as we've conceded a goal, which is very much not part of the script 
for this video. Um, and it's from a set piece as well. And we really shouldn't be conceding goals from set pieces. Set pieces is really our thing. I, I imagine there's not very many clubs at this level that have got a set piece coach like we have. Um, we're going to go attacking. We're going to demand more. And we're hopefully going to drag ourselves back into this game. Harper is uh, running into the penalty area has the effort um, but unfortunately it's not even testing the goalkeeper it remains 1-0 we haven't even filled the away end here Chesterfield's not even that far away from Burton I don't think looking at a map in my head they're both roughly equal distance from Nottingham but Nottingham's in the middle of them is that right who cares? Ross Stewart scored. I mean, I don't get too over the top when Ross Stewart scores now. It's just expected. Oh, we're playing a football match. Ross Stewart's going to score then. We know there's always at least one in him. And there's today's one. And it's actually a very good header from quite a difficult chance to put it back to 1-1. And it's still 0-0 between Doncaster and Barrow. If Doncaster drop points there and we can find a way to find a winner in this match, we could potentially secure promotion today, which would be... Super duper duper. We're going to bring Stockton on for Lowe, who's had a pretty low key game today. Um, we're also going to bring on Shay Lacey to play in behind the strikers as Az can drop back into the midfield. And Sam Long, still on his way back from injury, um, is tiring. So Furlong can come on for him. I like the fact we've got such an such a good competition for places at right back that we're pretty comfortable just using those two fairly interchangeably which in a system like this diamond where you rely on those wing backs so much it is good to be able to just swap in like for like in that position that is not ideal at all well that was a, a frustratingly good goal and not lost on me that he just danced past furlong as well um, which we're going to not even watch the watch the replay. We don't want to acknowledge that that happened. Um, what we are going to do is demand more. Did I demand more or did I encourage there? What I have done is gone, gone very attacking. We're just going for it. 20 minutes to go. Throw the kitchen sink at them. There's a space in League One up for grabs and we want it. One goal isn't even enough. We want two goals. We want to win this football match. Burke playing it out to Hamer and now Hamer to, tries to tries to play it into Lacey, but he gives the ball away. But Furlong is there to intercept, making up for the fact he was beaten so comfortably for the uh, for the goal for the opposition. And Stewart is in again, and this time in a very similar chance to the one he scored from, couldn't quite get up above the uh, the player there. And it's still nil nil between Doncaster and Barrow, which leaves it as a four point gap between us and them as things stand we need to take off Stewart who's still not fully fit Hamer's going to come off as well and Longwick can come on and play left back he's done that a few times he basically use him anywhere across that back four as needed and can we please do an equaliser at the very least still nil nil between Doncaster and Barrow which I guess is the one saving grace Oshelaya is going to try for a long throw with Hamer not on the pitch it's nowhere near as effective um, and it's all the way back with Stockton I'm not sure why we're leaving Stockton back when we're throwing the kitchen sink at them. He's one of our strikers. Uh, Longwick with the cross. Azaz can't win his header. It comes back to Furlong and now Powell plays it back into Furlong again who bursts into the area. Furlong sticks it into that top corner in the 89th minute and that could end up being a huge huge goal for our hopes of promotion this season lovely work from Furlong it's really good work from Powell as well to play him in with that burst of pace from Furlong to take it past his man and into the penalty area absolutely crucial especially because Doncaster have just scored in fact they've scored twice Doncaster now 2-0 up in their game over Barrow so we really could have done with a winner of our own winner of our own there we've dropped two points Doncaster have closed the gap even further and that scenario we want to avoid of going into the last day needing a result just got a little bit closer to happening ultimately if we beat Cambridge in our next game that will be enough just need to do it now right there is the chance we could get our promotion sorted between matches here because we play tomorrow night Doncaster are playing tonight they're away against Morecambe they're probably going to win if they do they'll go level on points with us anything other than a win and I'm going to need my Kev maths and it's a draw so we haven't won promotion but I don't think the situation has changed 
I don't know that you needed to see that. What I do know is we can secure our promotion here in this game against Cambridge. The only change from the previous match, Furlong is back in at right back because Sam Long is another one who just seems to be forever injured. There's a lot of players in this squad who just keep getting recurring injuries and that's definitely something that needs to be resolved. You'd think training at St George's Park, we'd have the fittest, most well-trained squad in the entire league and it almost seems to be the opposite. Maybe they keep tripping over the fancy swimming pool. And I don't really know what's at St George's Park. It looks fancy from aerial photos, which is pretty much all I've seen. They don't let me in yet. I don't have a tracksuit. I just hear about it from my assistant manager. What goes on at St George's Park stays at St George's Park. Um, but it is... Uh, I mean, it, it, this is a must-win game. Let's probably focus in on this. As a Peterborough fan as well, it's quite fun having the opportunity to be able to win promotion against Cambridge, but it would also be quite upsetting if Cambridge act as spoilers and stop us getting promoted. Remember, the last day of the season, we are away against Doncaster. If we leave them a lifeline going into that game, they are in a very strong, advantageous position being the home team on that last day in what effectively then becomes a playoff winner-takes-all final. And you know I don't have the best track record in playoffs. Uh, Powell with the in-swinging corner and Nathan Lowe is there. That's why you sign a six-foot-five striker, boys and girls. He's not going to be the most consistent at 20 years old playing his first regular football of his career. But what he is going to be is really tall when we hit the right corner. Beautiful stuff. Powell with the big, deep, in-swinging corner. And Lowe is there to put us 1-0 up. And hopefully, that is the goal to secure our promotion. Tamworth, by the way, already promoted. You can see they're winning against Chesterfield. So I'm taking this as a, a personal uh, Kevin Chapman double promotion. This will be four promotions in three seasons on Non-League Legend this year. That's how we do it, boys and girls. Uh, but uh, we do need to secure this one before I do my full-on victory lap acceptance speech, etc., etc. But 1-0 at half time certainly gets us some of the way there I don't, I don't even dare say most of the way there but some of the way to where we're aiming to be it remains one nil into the second half Powell playing it forward looking for Azaz but Azaz doesn't turn quickly enough and it's back with the Cambridge defenders I would very much be feeling a lot more relaxed now if we could go and grab ourselves a second goal the Pirelli looks absolutely packed once again that might be a problem when it comes to long term prospects with this club I think I've mentioned it before um, the club has everything going for it apart from the size of the stadium and uh, we're seeing it again today even for a, that while we're down in league two um we're basically filling it for a, a big promotion decider um if we do make our way up into league one and maybe beyond and decide to stick it out here for the long term we're gonna need this ground to be a lot bigger than it is currently but these all feel like problems for the future. Let's get our promotion sec secured first before I worry about what ground we're going to play in if we do two or three of them. Uh, still 1-0, half an hour to go. I can, I can taste League One and it's delicious and I very much want a piece of it very, very soon. Um, I, interesting that this is the ball cam as well, which I hadn't noticed feel like that would have been a, a spot for a manscape dad but not yet give me a few more days on that one um <laughs> can we move it into this one it's perfectly positioned um right andrin is going to come on and um, we're also going to take off stewart who's tiring stockton can come on for him um and we'll take off we won't take off harper because actually we could take off harper we can drop andrin back in there and we can bring on shay lacy again to play in behind the strikers Come on, boys. Just don't mess up from here. We just need to hold on for 20, 25 more minutes and we're there. It will be a five-point gap going into the final day. Doncaster can do what they want with us on the last day if we manage to pull this off. Uh, Niemzik is going to come on with uh, 10 minutes to go for the tiring low. And I think for the last change, we're going to take off Furlong, bring on, uh, bring on Lonwick, my utility defender, just to... Uh, offer a little bit of 
a little bit more defensive security. Low, his final touch of the game probably, plays it out wide to Hamer. And now Powell back to Oshilaya. And now Hamer on the left-hand side misses out on his header but comes away with the ball anyway. Crosses in from him. That's actually Nathan Lowe's last touch of the game. It's off of that enormous head of his. It's his second of the game. He has single-handedly grabbed this promotion push by the scruff of the neck and dragged us into League One. That is a very, very good header. That's 2-0. And that should be that, boys and girls. Look at that beautiful league table. I am ready. I am ready to take League One by storm. And at least I know Tamworth are going to be there to make sure they finish bottom. So we don't even have to worry about that. So that's a, that's a good thing. We've got we've guaranteed ourselves at least not finishing bottom next season. But there is your confirmation. We should get it through in the inbox as well. Assuming my maths is all correct. There we have it. Burton promoted to Skybet League One. That is the job we came in to do. Look at the size of those budgets. £3.25 million of transfer budget. £160,000 a week for wages. We are going to... We're going to get back to back promotion again. I'm just going to keep this. I'm going to keep this run of getting promoted every year going. Uh, there's no reason why we shouldn't. Oh, look, all these guys who wanted to leave are all of a sudden happy to stay. Who'd have thought? I'll be the judge of whether or not you lot get to stay. Um, Paul Smith still wants out. I don't think he got the memo that we've stayed up. And we have completely moved the system around to uh, work without him. But there we have it, boys and girls. We are back in League One. And tomorrow, we're going to figure out how to stay there. If you enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.